Hey, what's going on guys? So I got to thinking recently because I'm always looking to be proactive and always improve myself and get better and better at delivering value in different ways that maybe others haven't thought of. And I got this idea about a couple months ago that I know for a fact no other agent out there is even thinking about. And I actually made a door knocking flyer about it as well. So if you would like it, leave a comment. You know how to get in touch with me and I will be more than happy to send that over to you because this is, this is a game changer too, my friends. This is a tip that I want to drop to you because not only does it help you guys that are sellers and homeowners out there, but also gives a nice tip to agents who are out door knocking or looking to deliver content that, you know, is a little bit outside the box. So without further ado, I thought about it and I'm out door knocking in Mar Vista and Venice and Santa Monica and Brentwood and I'm looking up and down these streets, right? And there's new construction coming up every single block you look. Not only that, but there's newer construction being sold too. And when I mean newer construction, those were homes say built within the last five to 10 years. But something I took note of with respect to those homes that were built five to 10 years ago, that are what I call newer construction is that when they were reselling, I took note of what they originally sold for. And I have to tell you folks, majority of them were selling for many times over their original asking price and to the tune of hundreds of thousands, if not sometimes in the millions over what they originally sold for, say five to 10 years ago. So I got to even thinking about it more so with respect to the market updates I just put out for Venice, Santa Monica, Brentwood, and Mar Vista. And I got to thinking, you know, those updates are awesome and they really provide a great general perspective of what the market is doing, but it in no way, shape, or form can really speak to the people who are homeowners or potential sellers of new and newer construction. So I got to thinking, I gotta make a video about this. I gotta create a flyer about this. Now the flyers already done as I said but here's the video and it's about to drop now I'm taking into consideration Marvis and Venice and what's been happening with this pandemic with April and May in the wraps so that we can take a look at those numbers and comparing them to one year ago so without further ado stay with me because we're gonna get in there right now What's up, what's up? I'm Eric Haas with EXP in sunny Southern California here on the west side out of Mar Vista. Welcome to my channel. If you happen to be joining me for the first time, I'm super stoked to have you with me here today. Now, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and smash that subscription button. Also hit that little ring bell because that lets YouTube know that you are appreciating the value that I'm delivering with my content and also it keeps me motivated to keep coming up with new content because I like to deliver things that are a little outside the box that no one's thinking about. So you got to keep it dialed in here because I'm not only covering how this pandemic is impacting our local lives and our housing market, but I'm also providing tips, tricks, and strategies for buyers, sellers, investors, and agents to stay completely successful during this market or any market for that matter. All righty guys, let's get right on into this whiteboard. I've got a bunch of numbers up here to go through with you. First, we're gonna start out with Marvista. Second part of the video, we're gonna get into Venice, but without further ado, let's look at the actives, what's going on in Marvista currently. There are currently 18 new or newer construction homes currently available in Marvista out of the 52 homes that are for sale overall in Mar Vista. So that translates to about 35% of the current inventory right now in Mar Vista is newer or new construction. Now we'll drop down to the median price. Median price is currently for active homes, not sold, active homes, 3,481,941 or roughly speaking 3.4 million. We'll drop down one more to the average price per square foot for current active inventory. And we're looking at $958 a square foot. If we move over into the sold column, we're going be looking at April and May combined. Yeah, combined. Why? Well, look at how many sold. There's not that many that sold. I mean, only seven homes that were newer construction or new construction sold in April, May. So we're going to combine those together. So currently for April, May, we had a total of seven homes and we're going to look at the median price right now. And what's going on with the median price compared to the actives right now? Well, it's down 18% compared to the actives. We're at 2,860,000 for the current median sold price for April, May, 2020 combined versus a decrease of only minus 3%. It's not a great dramatic difference, but you know, still a difference that I want to point out to you. 3% difference where we used to be this time last year at 2,940. Take a look at that average price per square foot. And that happens to be a 17% difference between active and what sold in April, May of 2020. We're actually at a $796 per square foot in Mar Vista for new and newer construction right at this moment, which is actually 12% down since this time last year, which was at 900 
and $8 a square foot. Now, let me tell you folks, homes in Mar Vista, as I mentioned before in the previous video about the market update there for May of 2020, majority of the homes that are selling, the popular price point amongst buyers is over that $2 million range. So, you know, a lot of these homes are moving, but at the same token, there are price reductions happening. And in that case, we're looking at for April, May 2020, there were two homes that actually sold for over the asking price out of that seven. Then we had three homes selling under and two homes selling right at the asking price. Now, at the end of the day, not too much happened with respects to the sold price versus the original asking price, where it was inclusive that both 2020 and 2019 are finding that 98% of the homes are getting the, or excuse me, getting 98% of the original price that they originally set from the get-go. Now, let's move right into Venice. All right, so what's new and newer construction looking like in Venice? Well, let's look right to the board. Of the 108 homes that are currently on the market for sale in Venice, 38 of those are new or newer construction which represents about still 35% of the market currently available. And if we drop down to the medium price, we're looking at the medium price for active listings, not sold, active. And we're looking at 3.7 million or to be exact, 3,717,500. Drop down one more and we're looking at the average price per square foot for our current active listings in Venice. And they're at 1364 right now. Now, again, remember that's all active. We're going to look at the solds right now. See what happened in April, May. April, May, we only had seven of the new and newer constructions homes selling. And that's actually 22% down from this time last year where we had nine. Now, if we look at the median price, here's a major discrepancy between the active and the actual sold. So we've got quite a bit of inventory up there at 108 homes for sale and quite a bit of new and newer construction opportunities at 38. So median price for active is at 3.7 but median price when it's selling in in venice for april and may 2020 is at 2 million 50 44 percent decrease now let's look at how that's reflected in the average price per square foot and we're looking at a 28 percent discrepancy between active price per square foot and what's actually selling price per square foot because we're at 977 now let's look at that median price that we had here for april may 2020 and compared to what we saw in april may 2019 for sold and we're 24 percent percent down. So there is a bit of a decrease happening in the Venice market with new and newer construction as these homes seem to be sitting on the market for a little bit longer now. Now we can't really calculate days on market because that has been taken off the table. So it's not impacting sellers in a negative way. But look at how we have our price per square foot. This is interesting because the price per square foot actually went up in May, April 2020 to 977, which we already said was a little bit lower than the average price per square foot for active listings, but it's higher than the 9 52 that we were experiencing just one year ago. So really what it comes down to my friends is that yes, homes are selling and the popular price range in Venice is in the 2 million range and the $3 million range. But here's the main thing. It's all about price at the end of the day. Price is the major significant factor in this market and any market for that matter. If you want to be a successful seller or successful as a homeowner who's thinking about selling. Now, let me just break it down to you real quick for April, May, 2020, two of the seven homes that sold went over the asking price compared to zero for April, May, 2019. Now, looking at homes that sold under the asking price, we've got five selling under the asking price for April, May, 2020, and nine selling under the asking price for April, May, 2019. Now, the number of homes that actually sold at asking, well, there's zero for April, May, 2020, and just one for April, May, 2019. Now, with respects to how are homes doing with respects to the original sales price versus the sold price at the end of the day, in 2019, we were at 97% of the original price, and this year, we're at 98%. So I think that, you know, prices are becoming more of an issue and people are taking consideration of that when they're putting their homes on the market. And that's what's finding a little bit of an uptick in that price per square foot and that overall percentage of the original listing price that homes are getting. But again, my friends, if you really want to get sold in this market or any market for that matter, it's a pricing strategy that is the ultimate defining reason why homes are getting sold in this market or any market. So without further ado, keep it dialed in here. I appreciate all the comments, the likes, the subscriptions. It keeps me motivated to keep bringing info and dialed in content for you guys and I'm about to bring Santa Monica and Brentwood in a video coming up next that's going to check out their new and newer construction markets as well so keep it dialed in here and I'll see you on the next one